What's up guys? For today's video I'm going to unbox and review a bunch of survival waterproof lighters. So let's compare them all together. We'll see which one is the best. Let's open it up. That's how you close it I guess and that's how you open it. Right now it does not have any gas. And also it's come with this cover. So let's start to fill it up. Right here you can open this part up and that way you can give it a plus or minus I guess on the gas and let's see how hard it is to fill it up. I got here butane. I actually love that it's CC too. Look how fast we filled it up. Let's fill it up all the way. I can actually see how it's filling up. Boom. I'm going to give it a little bit of air bubble just in case. Okay. Whoa! First great plus about this lighter, it was really easy to fill it up. I love how there is a three jets in there, so will be no problem lighting stuff up. Okay, stick this in here, and now we're going to drop it in the water. And right here is a bottle opener. Hopefully it floats. So I'm gonna submerge it all the way and boom, it floats up. I don't see any bubbles coming off, so it's awesome. I do like wiping off the lighter, so whatever, the survival waterproof stuff, so when I open it, nothing gets wet. Awesome, works well, beautiful. I can't believe I didn't get this ones earlier. And it floats and it's waterproof. And I cannot complain with three jets right here. For the next lighter, this is UCT floatable lighter. Let's open it up. Once again, made from plastic. What is that? There's a little holder. I guess you can hang it right here or right here, whatever you prefer. And to open it, all you have to do is pop this open. Let's see if it comes with any gas. It did not. So we pop it out like this. And I actually can see the lighter filling up with butane. You see a liquid inside there? Okay, then we're going to pop it in this way. The flame is kind of small. I think we can turn that up. This part right here, all I have to do is just twist it. Boom. Let's see how well is it now. Yeah, much better. Let's submerge it and see if it actually floats like they say. Boom. Yep, it floats. Floats very easily. Gonna hold it under the water for a while. Okay, now let's take it out. Once again, we're going to wipe it off so there's no water on it left. Okay, let's pop it open and it works. And it seems to be dry. Perfect. You know what? Thumbs up for me. I like them both. They're equally awesome. One of them are just a lot bigger and a bigger flame. And if you're looking for something more compact, I would go with that. Okay, let's check out the next waterproof lighter. There's a cable to charge your lighter. This one's supposed to be waterproof as well. It's made for metal, so most likely it's not going to float. But why I wanted to add it into the collection of survival lighter because it's an electric beam lighter. I love this kind of lighters. I did not have to get the gold one, but I thought it was cool anyways. Okay, let's dip it in the water. Of course, it's not going to float. Uh, I see a couple of the bubbles came up from the lighter. So, it's also electric lighter. And right here, where you're supposed to charge it, you see it's all sealed up. So if water gets inside there, it might break. And I see some water inside there. And it still works. That's great. To charge it right here, you'd have to pull off this part and you got yourself a charging port. Once again, this is probably first electric bean lighter that is waterproof. But as you can see, it did come up with a bunch of bubbles. And with electric lighter, you don't want any water inside there and it still works at least it works even though the water gets inside the top part i guess it does not get inside of the battery so make sure you dry it off before using it again and for the next lighter let's open this up this one looks very durable and it has a compass on the bottom down here that's a very unique design because none of this has compass 
you open up right here and you got yourself a lighter and it's a twist off so that way you can really tighten it up so none of the water can get in. Right here there's a plus and minus for the flame. It also looks like very simple to add gas on. The only difference between this lighter, it's not a C2 lighter, so I can't really tell how much gas there is. I guess right here, if you put it on the side, you can see there is a halfway filled up. Okay, let's turn it on in the dark. Whoa, look at the flame. As expected, it's not floatable lighter, but oh well. Let's wipe it off. It's definitely most durable lighter I've seen, because it's so metal okay i don't see any liquid inside and it works and i love these torch lighters they turn on every single time and for the last waterproof lighter it's not really a lighter even though it says right here it's a lighter it's actually a case for one of those cheap lighters let's open it up what you would do is stick one of these lighters in here it burns well and then you can plug it up nice and now you got very cheap waterproof lighter when you throw a regular lighter let's see what happens it is floatable but now let's see what happens if you drop this one it floats even more you see the new lighter that have not been moist works well every time the moist lighter not going to work. So that's why you need one of these cases. It does help a lot. If you're camping out, you don't have to worry about getting your lighter wet. It's going to work every single time. Well guys, that's pretty much it. Honestly, my most favorite survival lighter, if I would have to pick, I'd go with this one. It's the biggest, it's easy to refill it. By the way, if this lighter breaks, you can just throw it away if it's unfixable. Stick any other cheap lighters in here and use this container as a waterproof case for your cheap lighter. Well guys, that's pretty much it. If you want to see other lighter gadget, I'll put link in description. I have made two other videos on lighters. So if you want to go check it out, links in description. And thank you for watching. Let me know in comments below which lighter was your favorite. Don't forget to thumbs up and I'll see you next time.